Hi, welcome to Cooking with Joe and Pat, part of our holiday mini series. We're on our second appetizer. I hope you looked, looked in, in on us and saw the first one we did, our marinated feta. Today we're doing something a little different and it'll be good for those of you who like to go gluten-free. I wanna remind you we're doing this with Hillcr in conjunction with Hillcrest Y. Remember them. And if you can help Y Haven this time of year, mm -hmm. they're looking for any kind of donation to help the people in need. So we're making apricot coins, Joan. Apricot coins. We're gonna start with about four ounces of goat cheese. Goat cheese is similar, well, feta is a goat cheese as well. Feta is sheep. Sheep cheese, I'm yeah. sorry. All these little ant farm animals. Yeah, <laughs> it has a tangy taste to it. About half of it, Pat? About half, that's right. And we've let it sit out a little so it's got nice and creamy and not too stiff because we're gonna whip it. Put that over there. Okay. So Joe is just putting it into a bowl. We're going to add some flavor to it. Break it up a little, let it get um, light and fluffy, basically. And it, that will happen real easily. You just need a hand mixer. If you're strong, you could probably do this all with a, with yeah. a spoon, but why do that? So it's broken up now. That was pretty fast. We're going to add a little bit of honey, about a tablespoon. Again, that salt and sweet together makes such a good taste. And the honey always takes its time coming out. Doesn't there it, it? Is. Yep. There it comes. And we're going to add about, this is very forgiving. We're going to add about a tablespoon. We're also going to add about a tablespoon of cream or milk. And then we can add more or less if we need to. And yeah. we're gonna just start. And, and the it. whole point of this is, is layering the flavor. Exactly. Um, you want, you got the creaminess and the, the tartness of the cheese. You have the sweetness of the honey and the, the cream, the half and half of the, the heavy cream gives it the creaminess, gives it the silkiness that is on your tongue. We're gonna put literally just a pinch of salt in. Salt brings out sweet flavors, mm -hmm. doesn't it? It brings yes. out all kinds of flavors. You know, my, my mother used to put um, salt on watermelon. My mother sweeter. does, my husband does that. And when I eat his lunch, take some off his plate, he's right, it yeah, is it sweeter. Does. So you see how quickly that mixed up together? We're just gonna take a little taste to see if we need to add me. anything. Here, I can take it off here, actually. Oh no, that's pretty good, Steve. Mm -hmm. See if you want it sweeter or creamier. Or... No. They're pretty good, huh? Perfect. Get this out of the way. We're almost done, Joe. See, we told you and we promised you these were going to be quick. And in the age of COVID, and COVID for the holidays, as I'm calling it, <laughs> we want things that are easy and quick that you can sit down with a small glass of wine and just enjoy yourself and your family and those that you love. So this is where we get gluten-free and where we get some different flavors. We're using ap dried apricot heads. That I think is great. And we're going to spoon a little of the, of the um, goat cheese on it, put a candied pecan right on top, which makes it very pretty. Taste and see. Taste and see? I guess I'm the guinea pig. You're our taste tester. Mm. Isn't that a delicious combination? And a glass of Prosecco with it mm. would be absolutely perfect, the light bubbly. So we can make a plate of these. If You know what's really nice about these? It's not only the creaminess of the cheese and the crunchiness of the pecan, but then you get the apricot, the, the, fruity. the fruitiness of it. So you have fruit. It's like a cheese board on a... You've got your fruit, your nuts, and your cheese all together in one nice little bite. Now you could make the, the goat cheese mix ahead of time and just right before you serve it, you could, um, you know, fill them up. I can guarantee nobody else is making this for Christmas. No. And, and these, are, so, yeah. these are also really nice in the summer with a glass of white wine. These are the appetizers that you see at fancy parties and you're looking at them like, wow. Yeah. I wonder how they did that. When the caterer says they're $1.50 a piece or right. something. Right, and what's nice about, I mean, these are just so easy, you guys, to just to just do and to enjoy. 
And it's also just nice to have something that isn't bread and crackers and sour cream based mayonnaise right. dips, you know. And you can see you get a lot out of these. Now I will tell you, because I've had this experience, when you buy your dried apricots, a lot of them now are open so you can see the color in it. If they're not sulfite, if they don't have sulfur in them, sometimes they are brown. They're still good to eat, but they're not pretty to look at. <laughs> so get don't get the get the ones that uh, you can actually enjoy seeing. It's sort of a shock to open it up. You think your fruit is rotten, and it's just that they haven't sulfured them. And that keeps that's like a preservative. It's like putting lemon juice on an apple or something. Oh, okay. And it's a natural preservative, but it really does make a difference. I had a bunch that were brown ones that were quite unattractive. We still ate them, you know. No, of course. But, not for, waste but not for a party. So the candied pecans, you can buy them. You can make them. They're very easy to make. And Joe and I are going to show you how to make them probably with one of our salads in January. Yeah. I make them frequently, keep them in a jar and throw them into salads and different things as the whim hits me because they do keep so nicely. You know, just as a reminder to all of you guys, Pat and I have known each other for a very, very long time. This is something we love. This is our passion. And we hope it is your passion too. And doing these little shows about cooking and, and for the why just gives us an opportunity to share some of the passion that we have. We want to hear from you. We want to hear what you think of these shows. We want to hear what you want us to make. We are open and would love to hear some of your ideas. Absolutely. And if any of you are, you know, like us that have a passion for cooking, you probably have a ton of great ideas. Pass them on, share them with us, share them on the website. Yes, please do. Or, take, or if you make some of these and you want to put a picture up, we'd love to see how you how you did it, how it looked for you. But so, these are delicious. This is our second in the series of our appetizers, goat cheese on apricots with candied pecans. Give it a try. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, everyone. Bye-bye.